Hey guys, what's up? We are going to be uh, looking into Metasploitable Linux and how we can exploit some of the vulnerabilities with Kali Linux. So let's get started. Just some background information on what we are going to be doing today. Uh, SMB, which is the Server Message Block Protocol, is a network file and resource sharing protocol. So how, how does it work? Well, it works by a from a PC on a network will connect to an SMB server to access files and for example print uh, over the network. So in our case uh, the target machine is using Linux so we will be taking a look at Samba, S-A-M-B-A. -A. That is the Linux version of SMB. SMB uses port uh, 139 but after the release of Windows 2000 SMB operates over 445. So what is TCP and IP? TCP stands for Transmission Control Protocol and IP stands for Internet Protocol. Uh, the Internet uses these for computers to be able to talk to each other uh, over the Internet. Next uh, is what is a reverse shell? So a reverse shell is where the target machine communicates back to the attacking machine. So in our case it is the Metasploitable Linux in the Kali Linux machine. Our Kali machine has a listener port, which is uh, 4444, and when it receives the connection, the attacker, us, will be able to execute code on the system. Now, we are going to be performing a reverse TCP. So what this is, is when the attacker makes the host initiate the connection to the attacker. So we will be making um, the host, which is the Metasploitable in Linux, initiate the connection to us. So this allows us to pass through the firewall, or a firewall that's running, because the host machine will be initiating the connection, which will then be allowed by the fire firewall, which is lovely in, in our case. <laughs> um, if you're on the other end, not, not necessarily. So let's, oops, so let's get started here. Uh, so, we are going to be running an nmap scan. Let's, oh, not that. Let's see, let's see if we can uh, find some of those ports. So, let's be start up a network scan of the machine. Fi you gotta find its IP address. Um, uh, basically, so let's get started here. So I gotta review my notes here. So we are doing an nmap scan to scan the target for open ports along with the versions. So that's where dash S capital V comes in, stands for service version detection option. Uh, so we will be able to scan the metasploitable Linux and see what's open. So as we can see down here, over port uh, well, one, one, uh, 139 and 445 TCP, we have Samba working. Um, working on that port. So the main thing that we're going to be looking at is a bad lock vulnerability. This is CVE 2016-2118. Uh, bad lock is a security bug disclosed back in 2016. It affects the security account manager, SAM, and the local security authority, domain policy, LSAD, um, remote protocols that are supported by Windows and Samba servers. CVE 2016-2118 uh, allows for a man-in-the-middle attack. Samba 3.x and 4.x before 4.2.11 are at risk of attacks. Uh, updating your version to the latest version or to uh, 4.2.11 will patch the vulnerability and provide authorization, which which is good. We need authorization. <laughs> So as we can see on here, it just it doesn't say the version, but it, it has a little, you know, some some text, a uh, 3x or 4x. But we need to find the the version 
first, because if the version's four point whatever or over it, then we won't be able to uh, necessarily get into it as easy as as if it's an older version because of this bad lock vulnerability. So we're going to first pull up once Metasploitable uh, Metasploit loads. We need to check the um, the version number of it so we could see because if it's over 4.2 whatever, then there's you know there's no no need to uh, to try to exploit this bad log vulnerability because it'll already been patched. So let's uh, let's get started here. So we have all of these scanners that we can use, but the one that we want to use is the auxiliary scanner SMB version. As you can see, SMB version detection. So let's go uh, paste that into there and pop that into there. So we want to set the R host, which is the remote host, which is the IP address of the uh, our Metasploitable Linux. Once we've set that module into play, we can we can either uh, type run or exploit. Give it some time. We can see that the version is Samba 3.0.20, which is perfect because now we can go ahead and exploit it. So. After doing the research or searching for it, we can we can put in the exploit module. So it is defaulting to CMD Unix Reverse Netcat, which is the actual payload that is coded to 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 perform what we're going to be able to do. That um, if we wanted a different uh, that uh, there's it says no payload configured. Um, it's just defaulting to this one. This is the one that we actually want to do. If we want to um, look for other payloads, we can uh, we can um, type uh, show payloads, and we can see some uh, all the other payloads. So we want to then. We then we want to uh, set the R host again. We want to set the L host, which is the which is our machine, so we can um, have a connection back and then what we want to do is click or type exploit or run. So let's do that. Boop. So we have started a reverse TCP handler on the Metasploitable Linux and a command shell has opened which is Perl. Now we can we can't do we don't have full access of the computer necessarily but we can see oh, but we can see the user, and then you know we can do an ls command, and we can see. Oh look, look! Here's all of the. Uh, there's the home directory. You know, here's all the the, the files and directories of the um, uh, metasploitable Linux. So, you know, not 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 really that difficult. Um, just you know, do a couple commands. The the hard part is, you know, in the real world, you know, finding a vulner finding a vulnerability, creating your own payload, and then, uh, you know, actually performing the attack. So that wraps it up for uh, today. Thank you for watching.